corpses. This is blasphemy. Who did this? Hey, why are you burning the dead? Don't you fear the gods? Their souls will be forever cursed. I'm sorry to do it, but I have no choice in this. The gods themselves have afflicted us with a pestilence. The dead must be burned to save the living. What pestilence? Is there a plague? Truly, I don't know. Elders have begun falling sick. Children have died clutching their bellies in agony as their parents watch on, lifeless in their beds. This would be cruel, even for the angriest of gods. No one cares about us. Any help would be appreciated. In the Fayum, the poor aren't worth spit. <laughs> My children, your hunger is known. Turn to Sobek for your nourishment. Another dead farmer no whose family will now lose their body. land. They used to eat at the arms kitchen in the market. But soldiers began harassing them. Greek merchants said they were bad for business. These walls are filthy. What have the villagers been eating? We must have the food stored somewhere. I should have a look around. This food is rancid. Smells like shit. It's completely unfit for eating. This gruel is not fit for rats, let alone people. The strong spices are not for taste. They are disguisingly rot. I need to talk with whoever made it. Sobek has provided a way. Though the food is humble, it gives life. Eat with thanksgiving, and trust in he who is pointed of tea. The Tell Lord... me about the food you eat. Where does it come from? A merchant makes it for the poor here. It's not much, but at least it's something. We're thankful. You're welcome to try some. By the gods, no. I do not know how you stomach it. I need to talk to the merchant. Where can I find him? His house is to the south of the town market. I can take you. Let's visit this merchant of yours. I will follow you. May Sobek reward you for helping. I've passed many prosperous farms. People here seem to be doing well. Why are there so many poor? Ah, yes. Those are Greek farms. The Greeks pay lower taxes, so they prosper. Meanwhile, the Egyptian farmers are slowly forced from their lands. What happens to the land when the farmers leave? Once the owners die, by law the land is freed. If it's good land, the Greeks take it. If not, the desert takes it. Either way, Egyptians are left to starve. Many end up in the slums. This is the home of the merchant who provides the food. Even the cats here look better fed than the poor. <laughs> the owner is obviously of substance. Not all Egyptians seem to be equal. Some are just more equal. This is awful! No wonder people are falling sick. Who would do this? It is time we met this poisonous merchant. Give him a taste of his own cooking. How may I help you? This is my home. Are you lost? You can explain to me why you have been poisoning the poor. My guess is so you can take their land. It is easier if they are dead. You're referring to the trouble in the slums? Whatever you've heard, I assure you, you misunderstand. 
I do what I can to help. I have seen your kitchen, merchant. I know what you are doing. And I will see that you are brought to justice. Oh, I see. Well, that changes things. Now, you're trespassing. And I have the right to protect myself. Men! If you were reasonable, I wouldn't have to do this. We could have worked this out. I'm not dying over this. Hold him up. Where are my men? They were just filthy beggars. Why do you care so much about them? No one will miss them. We can talk about this. I'm wealthy. I can pay you. This merchant of death was murdering the poor for their land. His love of money was their real sickness. Volume won't miss him. The dead can rest. There will be no more money. the markings of old Siwa. Is that a real Magi badge? How much would you sell it for? Siwa is my homeland, and it is not for sale. Everything is for sale here. You should visit Valley Market to the east. They have Siwa treasures, not the normal fake stuff. These are real. I would be interested to meet anyone selling genuine Siwa treasures. Are you sure you do not want to sell that badge? No matter. Look for this stall under the bird's nest. You will thank me. <laughs> no, Dio. So clear. Did you hear about that new stall with the treasures from the... Welcome. We have many unique treasures for sale. This is your store? Yes, mine. Many unique treasures from faraway Siwa. Not fake. Not fake. Have you got anything real? I'm sure these are not your best pieces. What do you mean? These are real. Hmm. More expensive ones at my camp. I can take you. Not far from here. You follow. That Magi badge, not very good, you know. We have better ones. Would you like? I like this one. These are the treasures of yours. Oh. Are they fake as well? I told you, not fake. Oh, how did you know? My treasures aren't really real, but not fake. My mother has some real ones anyway. Hey, I have a secret. I was once a Magi in Siwa. I've seen the real treasures. Oh, not fair. I made them all myself, oh. you know. Oh. No one else can tell. Do not worry. They are very good fakes. I will not tell anyone. I said, not fake. Were you really Magi? Maybe you are fake. Ah, <laughs> hey. You're a very cheeky child. Now, let's see what your mother has. We go along the canal. You lead. I will fake it. Does not even make sense. Oh. Ah! My mother! Oh no! What can we do? Something is wrong! Do not be afraid. Lucky for you, I am real. Stay here and keep hidden.
want. As I told them, I do not have any money, but I have many unique treasures from Siwa. Mother, he is not a bandit. He is my friend. Thanks for saving us. I guess you are real. Sorry I said you were fake. He saved us? We have to give him something. We always repay kindness, remember? I've got something. Here. This is a genuine imitation Siwan Kopish. It is very rare. They don't make them anymore. Please, take it with our gratitude. Mother, he already knows. Thank you. I'm honored. Yes, I can tell. This one's really real. There are almost none like it. May you multiply happy years. has profaned the gods. His punishment will be an example and an atonement. His hands for thievery, his tongue for lying. Priest, what does the boy done to deserve this? This has nothing to do with you. Back away. The boy will get what he deserves. I serve so big. I serve so big. I am a slave. Boy, what are you accused of? I was charged with ferrying two gold sobeks to Crocodilopolis. Just out of port, my ship sank by the lighthouse. I almost drowned. The statues were lost. I didn't steal them. Silence! And you, step back, Sahedi. Wait, do not threaten me, Neb. I am a Magi. If the boy speaks the truth, I will find your gold sobeks. If he lies, he is yours to deal with. I should check the big Octarim ship. Stealing from a god is the gravest of blasphemy. No punishment is too great for such a transgression. So they keep with the judge. It's many people who have power. I'm a fool. Jedani. Statue of Sobek. Beautifully made. Just as the boy said it would be. I 
Of Sobek. It is beautiful. The boy tells the truth. I should return these gold Sobek to the odious priest. Have your precious golden Sobex. Your novice spoke the truth. This useless boy has been constant trouble. Many more punishments await him for his carelessness. Your piece clothing is just a mask for cowardice. God, the gods I hate masks. This has nothing to do with you, Saheti. Crawl back into your desert hole. I am Medjai, you dishonorable dog. I have your sword. Your authority is removed with your mask, priest. May you walk in the land of the dwarf. Accept me. Sobek has left the fate of this gold with you. You can return to the temple or to your family. The choice is yours. May Sobek be with you. Whatever you do, do it honorably. Egypt needs priests who do not wear masks. <laughs> Everyone! What curse? What are you talking about? Greeks and Egyptians have lost harmony with each other. The g gods are displeased because of it. I'm Nanefer, and I don't know if I'm g g g Greek or Egyptian. I'm an orphan. Lost harmony? What do you mean? The Egyptian g g goddess. Wajed is sending snakes into g Greek quarters at night. Only g g Greeks have been killed. We are out of p p balance. See for yourself. Just n n north of the villa. Okay. I will look into this curse. That was harder than it should have been. Take a 
Prosperity for all. Latest census figures show increased wealth for all in Fayum. Thanks to the great Ptolemy's aid for Greek investors, profits have continued to multiply. Kriga Rumenein. Credo na brasi eksus. Security for all. What is that? The gods are rumbling. It came from just north of here. Must have something to do with this curse. Ah, I can smell the burnt flesh. What happened here? I should ask around. This jar does not belong here. I think there is movement inside. A snake! The jars have been used to transport them. Another foreigner cursed by Wajet. That is three this week. Those useless Greeks had it coming, if you ask me. But what do I know? I am just the lowly Egyptian caretaker who cleans up after the naked Yadit. Hey, be careful what you say. People have died. I need to look around. What you need to look at is the color of your skin, son. Harmony is what we need, not more senseless judgment. Look, some of us have built a shrine in a cave under what is left of the great temple. Why don't you come and honor Wajet with us? Egyptians have to stick together. Maybe I will, after I look around. Same as the ones I saw in the Greek area. They are breeding the snakes here. Gods. Ah, snakes again! Why did it have to be snakes? They are feeding the snakes. Gods, I hate snakes. Serpent Goddess Wajet. The sound of it, you will not have to find the caretaker after all. He has already found me. Get him when he comes out! You cannot escape! Caretaker! Next for yours. You son, Greeks! Come on then, you worthless Ionian snake! Ptolemy has done to Egypt. A land out of balance, full of hatred and strife. At least I can rescue the hostage. He's being held by the caretaker's men at Panama. The caretaker is using the goddess to kill Greeks. Why such hatred? I would be sad. It is just as none of the war could be started. Egypt has lost harmony. Oh. <clears throat> hey, 
now. What is going to happen to that stupid, stuttering creek inside? He's going to be sacrificed to watch it when the caretaker gets here. Blood sacrifice? The priest stopped that years ago. Our ancestors followed the true path before it was corrupted by false teaching. That's why Wajit abandoned us to the bastard Greeks. Well, at least he won't escape. We beat him so badly he's lying in his own blood. <laughs> he can't even stand. Can you stand? Thank Serapis you're here. I d d d d don't think so. They b b beat me. This thing, I will carry you out. <laughs> Stupid Greek. He had it coming. He hasn't even... Fresh fruit, grain, wine. Mm, this must be. Fresh fruit, grain, wine. Mm, these must be gifts from the caretaker to his men. Shrine to the snake goddess Wajit. They beat me. They beat me because they thought I'm Greek. Wait, what happened to your stutter? I was scared when I first met you. It makes me stutter. By the gods, is nothing true. Well, you are alive, Nanifer. Be thankful. I'm alive, but Egypt is out of balance. You must know, Magi, the law is harmony between all peoples. May Serapis unite us all. That is the end of the caretaker's cult. Nanifer is right. Egypt is out of balance. And that is the order of ancients doing. The gladiatorial arena. So the crocodile recruits from this place for his personal army. I need to find out more about it. Hey, Neb. What can you tell me about the men who fight here? Men? These are not men, they're gods. You've never seen such savage warriors. They could break you in half with one strike. Ah. Do any of them have red hair? Gods among gods, have you never heard of the brothers from Gaul? Can't you feel their eyes on you? Their statues are beside me. Meridovix, the loyal servant of death. His scythe will ever reap the unworthy. Meridovix, the loyal servant of death.
Are you the owner here? Yes, I am the owner. Felix Martialis. Who are you? Another rough knuckle no name seeking fame? I only want entry to the arena. I heard you have got a fighter worth watching. With red hair? Ah, you mean the Gallic brothers. You heard right. But let me save you some time, camel boy. You cannot afford it. Now piss off before you scare away someone who can. Sir, this man wears a Magi badge. Ahmed what? <laughs> I do not even care. Can you fight? You look the part, like a vicious, mangy dog. Nah, nah. I have already got an Egyptian. A huntress from Siwa, who's worth three of you. She frequents the obelisk in the East End if you want an impromptu beating. It is the only way inside this arena. Fight in the streets, and the gladiator can bring you in. So, the Gallic brothers are involved in Shadia's murder. But why are they doing the crocodile's bidding? I need to get inside and learn more. The arena owner mentioned a C1 gladiator to the east at an obelisk. I wonder if I know her. Zero is a small place. I should go and see. In Apophanin, Polemo creeks as they. Who entered there? Hey! Hold on, you! I like the. Clear off now! see one. Wait. That looks like... I am so close to my dream. If only I was given the chance, I know I could become champion. I mean wealth, luxury, fame. What more could a woman want? Huh? That's why I came to Fayum. To make a new life for myself and bury the past. But I was turned away from the arena doors. <laughs> so you have finally given up trying to put the world to rights. Good. Such things are impossible. Felix is slow to trust outsiders. But do not worry. With my backing, we'll soon be fighting side by side. First, we drink. And in the morning, we can go to the arena for the proper introductions. Eh, it's good to have you here, old friend. Whoa. Yeah, Oh, now. 
I want this man to be my partner. As it happens, the Iberian was torn apart by lions yesterday. I may have an opening. And if Kensa vouches for you? You will need a title if you're going to team up, though. How about the C1 warrior? I think the Guardians of Siwa would be more fitting. Is that memorable enough for you? I have heard worse. Come inside. There is no pharaoh or god in the arena to protect you, Magi. <laughs> This is where you will probably die. Try to do it with drama, it pleases the crowd. On the off chance you live, you will be rewarded with glory and fame. And another chance to die. Such is the short but luminous life of the gladiator. All right, who do we have? Ah, there is Callistos. Callistos, a former soldier of Ptolemy who claims to know how to handle his sword. Horus. He was my best fighter once, but age ruins us all. He's not much more than a bedman now. He trains the novices. Is that armor from Ptolemy's army? Most of the fighters cannot afford their own armor. In any case, it is soon ruined. The army does not miss a few suits here and there, and it adds to the authenticity. Speaking of authenticity, in the arena, you use the weapons I give you. There are no exceptions. You already know Kensa, whose glowing but suspect recommendation brought you here. Bayek! Crocodilopolis welcomes another champion! Or another bag of blood and shit. I want to see if he can fight. And who better to test him than the one who recommended him? <laughs> what do you say? Ready to draw a sword, old Magi? <laughs> Let's see if you have improved. Not bad, old man! <laughs> How is that for all? Hey, you need I more style and you. slash. <laughs> but you've got a pleasing vicious streak for a sand lord. Okay, Kensa. You've got a new partner. We open the door soon. Be ready. Are the scraps that Felix wants to throw our way? <laughs> they make a poor meal, my brother. <laughs> I'm going to slice off your balls and feed them to you. Our main obstacle to glory. The Gallic brothers. I know who they are. 